Xanthoma. Xanthoma. Understanding Xanthoma. Skin is the largest organ of the body and is frequently exposed to many toxins and chemicals. Naturally, skin is also a common site of growths, ulcers and many other kinds of lesions. Furthermore, metabolic derangements and toxicities within the body are frequently expressed on the skin. Xanthomas are a specific kind of condition that involves the skin and are common among the general population. There are numerous reasons why these growths develop. Here we describe this pathological condition in detail, examining the many attributes of this disease to help you understand what this condition really is. What is a xanthoma? Basically, a xanthoma is a fatty growth that starts accumulating beneath the skin and ultimately protrudes from the surface. It can be defined as an overgrowth of xanthelasma, which are also fatty patches beneath the skin. Now it is called a xanthoma. They are formed by the progressive accumulation of lipid-laden foam cells or histiocytes that give the lesion its characteristic pale color. Histiocytes are the macrophage cells of our immune system that are normally present in our tissues to protect us from pathogens. Xanthomas may be single lesions or they may appear as a cluster in an area. It may also involve only one part of the body, or it can affect different parts at once. These lesions can have different sizes and different shapes. Usually, these lesions appear as small bumps underneath the skin which may have a yellow or an orange color. The lesions can be itchy and may be slight or tender to the touch, however, often there is no pain at all. Classification of Xanthomas There are many kinds of xanthomas. Some are differentiated due to their color or contents, others are differentiated due to their cause and still others due to the course they take. Here we describe some of the basic types of xanthomas which will help you differentiate and diagnose your condition also. Tuberous xanthoma Tendinous xanthomas Plain xanthomas Xanthomas dissemination And Eruptive xanthomas as the name sounds, eruptive xanthomas are small red to yellow papules, appearing in large clusters over the buttocks, shoulders, arms, legs or even the whole body. In certain cases, the xanthomas may appear in the mouth as well. These xanthomas are usually tender and can itch and usually disappear over a few weeks. These xanthomas are caused due to hypertriglyceridemia and are usually related to diabetes. What are eruptive xanthomas? These xanthomas are miniature, yellowish papules that occur in large numbers in the same place. They are primarily found on the buttocks, but can also be found on the shoulders, legs, and arms. Their characteristic feature is that they occur in small crops and are caused due to deposition of lipids in skin tissues. However, they do have characteristic foam cells, which are spotted on biopsy or microscopy. The foam cells stain red with a special stain, confirming the diagnosis. These xanthomas do not have cholesterol clefts. For removing your eruptive xanthomas, Xanthal Registered is the premier choice for today's modern clients. So, what is the reason behind these lesions? Why do they form and what is the link of the predisposition of certain parts of the body? Well, usually, xanthomas result from a genetic defect in lipid metabolism. Normally, lipids combine with protein to form lipoproteins, which are associated with the transportation of lipid. There are different kinds of proteins, but it's the LDL and the VLDL that are responsible for the derangements. Many genetic defects, including hypolipoproteinemia or some other defects such as hypertension, hypothyroidism or nephrotic syndrome may be at the core of the disease. The pathogenesis involves an increasingly elevated number of lipoproteins which are taken up by tissue macrophages. They are partially digested, which results in the formation and deposition of macrophages in the skin and ultimately xanthoma. Our xanthoma, xanthelasma creams are made to treat all kinds of xanthoma wherever they are on the surface of the skin. Whilst the most common place is to find xanthoma around the eyelids, it can be present in different formats. As long as the xanthoma is not in the muscle and is instead in the skin layer, then our xanthoma removal cream will work great and give fantastic results. Find out more at xanthal.com.